TabletopBattle.com is back with another Terminator Genesis Battle Report. Hi and welcome to TabletopBattle.com or rather this is uh, Svein and Vidar is back holding the camera for this new installment of Terminator Genesis. If you remember the last time, well the time before the last time we played a linked scenario with uh, the the uh, resistance going into an underground base where uh, sadly Kyle Reese was presumed to kill but he was only captured we will get back to that in a later mission uh, but the reason they found that underground base was because they had enlisted some sons of radiation to help them track that base uh, so in this scenario, the resistance know that something has went wrong. Uh, all the resistance fighters sent to the underground base has uh, not returned. Um, and they still have an obligation to give the sons of radiation their uh, reward. Because they did tell them where the base was to be found. Even though the resistance didn't manage to perform a successful mission or attack there. Uh, so in this mission we are going to have a city fight and this is uh, the resistance soldiers that are going to uh, meet up with the uh, sons of radiation to give them their reward. Little do they know that the terminators have been tracking the sons of radiation. So what we're going to have here today if you will point the camera with up at the uh, city we will have a fight where the sons of radiation will begin in the middle of the uh, battlefield and uh, the resistance will enter from one table edge and the terminators from the other table edge and this is going to be a fight where uh, the resistance has to actually kill all the sons of radiation because if they don't the surviving sons of radiation are going to go back to their people and say that they have been betrayed by the resistance, which is of course nothing they want. Uh, the resistance has of course not betrayed them, it is the Terminators that has followed them and uh, planned this attack to be able to wipe out two groups at the same time. Uh, so the resistance has to kill the uh, sons of radiation that is their victory condition. The Sons of Radiation have to stay alive till the end of the game. If they do that, they score a win. And the Terminators, well, they win if both groups are destroyed. It's not likely that's going to happen because it's going to be lots of uh, units, lots of men. But uh, the important thing is uh, probably to have the Sons of Radiation survive. So the Terminators can help kill some resistance maybe. But that's going to be an interesting twist. Um, the way we're going to do it is that none of us is going to actively own the Sons of Radiation. Um, the uh, Sons of Radiation are going to be moved after the Terminators and the Resistance uh, and they will move towards the closest enemy, visible enemy. So that means that me and Vidar have to be a bit tactical when we do our moves and try to put our units a little bit further away than the other enemy units so that the sons of, sons of radiation will attack the other group. So we will uh, see how that plays out. I hope it will be an interesting twist. So we are now going to take a little look at the battlefield again. Uh, just to say something about the um, buildings and stuff, if you please see that. So you see here are lots of uh, burning buildings, uh, and there are lots of uh, barricades, there are uh, vehicles destroyed and uh, well it's uh, fitting a nuclear uh, holocaust. Um, so we are going to play with the normal rules uh, where you have areas of dense terrain and where you have cover and blocking line of sight. So all those things will be as per the rules. Uh, probably we will just uh, contend with uh, cover. I don't think we will enter into the buildings uh, in this uh, fight. 
but we will see what happens. So those are the rules we are playing by and uh, I think we are now ready to take a look at the units. So for the Terminators we have three of them, they are at uh, 45 uh, points each so that's 135 and then we have upgraded the TDD agent to a D12 value which is 150 points and uh, that is also the points value for the resistance whereas the um, sons of radiation have uh, roughly 50 points it's a bit hard because we don't have any uh, clear points value on them but i have used these stats for the cops and then tweaked a little bit there and then you have the sons of radiation they are five men with a radiant sun he has only hand weapons command value of one and uh, we have given him uh, the same stats or all of them have the same stats as a uh, cop they have armor of three skill of six but we have given him a resolution of 12 and these guys have a resolution of eight since they are crazed and then we have the resistance with seven men we have one uh, resistance uh, nco 30 points command value one all of them are equipped with uh, plasma rifles no uh, sticky bombs as that proved quite disastrous in the previous game so this is going to be a lot of shooting and remember the plasma rifle has two shots at short range and one shot at long range uh, I can kill the uh, Sons of Radiance easily enough, but the Terminators, I will have to hope for uh, uh, reeling. Get them to reel and then close combat them, because that works very well. Um, so those are the resistance, and uh, we are now ready to begin the start of turn one. Okay, we have uh, positioned the Sons of Radiation. They are approximately in the middle of the table, equally distance to each of our deployment zones, that side and that side. The resistance will enter from this side after winning a roll-off to decide what table edge they will start on. And Vidar is now going to roll to see who has the tactical edge. And I have the fat die and he has the skinny die, yes. for obvious reasons. Seven for you. So I decide. You decide. That means the Terminators will have to move first. So uh, I won tactical edge. You will have to. I hope I get the fate die now. <laughs> no, I want you to bring in your guys. Yes. No. So to you. Okay. So either is a lucky B A S T A or D <laughs> or something like that. Uh, I will now roll the fate. And hopefully I will get a fate myself, because if you remember what we talked about, the sons of resist, the sons of <laughs> radiation, sons, sons of radiation, uh, they are going to attack the unit that is closest. And of course, since Vila doesn't have any units on the table right now, I will be the closest unit if I manage to get uh, other than a fate roll. So this is quite uh, tense, and it's a very nice twist to the game. So let's see what I roll. One. Okay, I'll be back with my move. So, we forgot to mention one thing, and that is, uh, of course, there will be no attacking uh, from the sons of uh, radiation before they see Terminators. Because, as it stands now, everything is peaceful and quiet, and the resistance soldiers are coming as promised, and they are going to deliver a reward for the... Uh, Sons of Radiation for telling them where the uh, Terminator base is. So he's doing a walk move, my first guy. Wheeler is back with another Fate roll, but don't roll Fate this time. One more time has been uh, great. And we will also mention that Wheeler is, uh, has the mindset of a Terminator, so if he enters the table and sees something, he is gonna kill, shoot, maim. Okay, that's two of my terminators. Okay, so you will get two activation markers and uh, you can then plan your moves. So, uh, Vidar activates two terminators this uh, cycle or phase or turn or what you want. 
<laughs> yeah. So uh, you are going to bring them in over here. Yes, I'll start at the edge of the table. I walk them in, and because they are mindless, they will just move, move and shoot. Move and shoot. And this is a cool twist also to the game that if he actually kills the Sons of Radiance, he's helping the Resistance win uh, or reach their victory conditions. So this is in line with the Terminator's uh, way of not thinking. So you have checking the range yes, now. That's uh, long, range. long range. And we will also see that this uh, son of uh, radiation will benefit from cover. That means he will get cover saves. Okay, so you now have two shots. Um, your skill is eight. So two shots on the D8. Let's see if you can hit this poor guy. Uh, two fours. Two fours, meaning misses because you needed six because of the long range. Then you can uh, put a done marker on your terminator and then bring in the other one. Yes. Which I guess will do the same. Exactly the same. Uh, I went to from the same place as the other one. And but at this point, the uh, Sons of Radiance are thinking, oh shit, we have been screwed or something bad. Uh, and that means they will be activated next turn and they will then move towards the closest enemy, which means that some will go towards this guy and some will go towards the Terminators. We have to measure and see who's the closest. Yes, we will. Okay, um, so, my second Terminator. Okay, two more shots. Yep. Uh, one seven and one four, so it's one hit. One hit. Then you have to uh, give the cover save, so he rolls a d6 on a four plus. plus. You miss because, because of the cover. cover. One. Haha, <laughs> so no cover for the sun. Well, that means you take your uh, weapon's power, which is an eight, and then you have to beat his armor of a measly three. Okay, I should manage to do that. Oh. <laughs> I got a three. You got a three. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Well, that means, since they only have one hit point, this guy is kaput. He's dead. Tot. I'm helping you. You're helping me. That's not good. Mindless very bastards. Good. Very good. So I just remove him. Yeah. Okay. So over to the resistance. No, over to the sons of uh, radiation. Now we will see what they will do. Okay, so the Sons of Radiation is up for the first time. They have lost one of their kind. And uh, now let's see what the fate tells us. One. One? Okay. Um, let's uh, do some checking on the range. Because this is important. Are they going for Terminators or Resistance? They are now thinking that, oh shit, we have been screwed. Let's see here, it's... Yeah, that is far, far away from that. that. Far away. And I think you're closer to the resistance soldier. Uh, he, he's, uh, he can uh, move and shoot or... He's within range. He's within range. Okay. Um, then you control him since he's going to attack me. Yes, I think uh, he'll go behind cover. cover. Yeah. Behind this car. Um, yeah, you got plenty of move. Plenty of move here. Yeah. So move him up behind cover. Like this. And then he's going to unleash with his submachine gun. It's, uh, two rounds. Two rounds, hitting on a 5 plus since uh, that is the uh, uh, range. And you have a skill of 6, so 2 to 6, hitting on 5s. But I will get cover. Okay, it's 2 to 6, hitting on 5. Uh, 3 and 2. Okay, so nothing. You shoot like a radiant. Maniac. Radioactive. Radioactive. Okay, new fate roll for me. Okay, so I'm up with the, the fate. And let's hope for two so that I can come in and kill some sons. No! Fate. No! Uh, well, actually, that is fine. I'll stick with that. Vidar is uh, going for fate. One. Okay, so that's your last Terminator. Okay, I will do uh, the same. The Terminator will 
come in here. Uh, but can you see some? Yeah, you can see. Maybe you want to bring him in a little bit more to your right. Yeah, I think I can see also over here. But <laughs> it's me doing your your dirty work now. Oh, well, that's good. No, it's not good. <laughs> I'm not winning this way. Uh, you just have to hope that the suns of uh, radiation will hit something eventually. And you can start moving your terminators faster, get them up there. And try to shoot at my resistance guys. Yeah. So here comes uh, another guy in. I'll go there. And just like that. And that's going to be the same. He's shooting at uh, this guy over here. Ah, and it's uh, long range. Again. Trying to hit them in the back. Shouldn't, uh... Two D eights. Yes, hitting on six. Four and six. Okay, so one hit. A roll cover. On a 4 plus with a d6. 4. Oh, so he makes cover. Well, that means you hit uh, the debris or something, the terrain in the way. Yes. So that's good for you. Mm, yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, let's see how the Sons of Radiation does. They roll a 1. And I think. You will have to do it again since I am still the closest. So one activation and that will be put to use on uh, the commander. Okay, so the Radiant Sun. Yeah. He uh, gets a ray marker and he will activate this guy. Okay, so he uses his command ability to activate one model within uh, walk range or crawl range. Yes. Which is the three uh, inches one. And he's um, going to do what now? Uh, he will, of course, be coming for you. And he'll walk behind cover. Okay, so he's going behind, and then we know he has range since he's uh, together with the other guy. Yes. Okay, so that is another 2d6 hitting on fives because of short range, five plus. I hit, 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 hit him on. How did that go, Vidar? Oh, that's so good. Reroll in the box. Two fours. Okay, okay so, so nothing. 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 Okay, so no luck there. And now he's moving up his uh, commander. Yes, uh, and I'll try to move him over here. Yeah, that should be no problem. Yes. Walk up here. Okay. And that's his uh, move, and then we will go back to you. Okay, so the fate goes back to me uh, because uh, Vidar is uh, already finished with his three terminators but uh, I will still have to roll the fate die to see how many I can activate since there is still one uh, radiant sun left. This guy still haven't done anything. Okay, so let's see how many I can activate. Two. Suits me fine because now we're going to have a turkey shoot. Okay, so two guys have moved up with uh, plasma rifles. They have uh, two shots at uh, short range, and we know it's short range because that is what I was shot at with. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a skill of d6, so 2d6 on the first guy. Try to hit in the, the dice is in the box. <laughs> Hitting all fives, that is uh, no fives. That means the first guy misses, then I'll take the other guy, shooting two shots, hitting on fives. That's a six, so we score one hit. Now I will roll to see if uh, there is cover. And I'm going for the guy that is uh, closest to your commander. He has this cover single four plus, and of course he makes that. So nothing happens. A lot of shooting, no killing. And you have one uh, son of radiant, son of radiance left, and he gets is activated. Okay. One. So he gets a one. So the last one is activated. That means all of my units will activate after he has done something. Yes. And what uh, is he gonna do? 
<laughs> you're still closer, so he'll probably let's see. I think you can move behind this barrel yeah. and uh, have cover and take a shot on this guy. So you're going to yeah from the barrel. Yeah, no problem. You get line of sight. Yes. And of course, that is going to be short range. It's outside of the four. So uh, yes, that is going to be two shots hitting on fives. In the box. In the box. Uh, four and two. So nothing. Nothing. No luck with the... <laughs> so I got four guys left in my resistance group. And they are going to come in uh, slightly off uh, to the left. To um, try to take your guys from the other side. So the first guy is moving up here. And he is going to get a shot off, or rather two shots. No, probably only one, because this is going to be... That's long range. That's long range. Okay, so let's do the moves for the other guys, because I don't think they will be able to shoot that uh, very much. So my uh, commander is moving up here. To see if he has some line of sight. Um, actually, yeah, he can also shoot at your... Thingy Bob, but he will get cover. So My like, Thingy Bob. Your Thingy Bob. Well, that that Thingy Bob. That Thingy Bob. He will get cover, and then the rest of the guys will not be able to shoot at. Well, maybe. Maybe the third guy also. <clears throat> Can he draw a line? Mm, yes. Yes, he can. But that's the cover saves all the way. But the last guy is not able to draw a line of a sight to anything. I think. Mm. Can I get a shot off at that guy? Yes. Yeah, okay. But cover you will get all the way. So I will now go over to the uh, box of uh, dice rolling and start with uh, lots of d6s. Okay, so first up, my guy to the right is going to shoot one shot because it's long range and he has a plasma rifle at his uh, or its or whatever you want to call it, the radiant uh, commander with an axe. Yeah, mean close combat weapon. Okay, so here comes a six. It was a six. It was a six. <laughs> <laughs> I got voodoo magic even in terminal genesis. Okay, you get... No, that guy doesn't get cover. No. Yeah. That was the first shot. That's a clean shot. That's a clean shot. Uh, he has an uh, armor value of 3. So he's dead on a 3 plus and I have a power of 8 on my plasma rifle. So that's 3 or higher to yes, kill him? Sir. That's a 5, so you have a killed radiant leader. Oh, that's... That also means that two, the two next guys will not have anything to shoot at. And then we have one guy remaining that can shoot the guy furthest to the left uh, that can shoot at the uh, guy that is uh, at the rear of that black burnt out sports car. Also needing a six. And that's another six. Are you kidding me? You should film Voodoo Magic. This is tabletop battle slogan Voodoo Magic. Anyway. Cover save, since I'm shooting yes. past, yep, so you got a cover of 4+, plus. rolling a 2, so no cover for you. I have a power of 8, so killing on 3+, plus. this is going fast, Vida. <laughs> Very fast. Roll in the oh. box. Didn't you miss the box? That's a 1, no! Okay, okay. now I have to do a reeling test. And they have a resolution of 8, so on a... One to five, he's reeling. It's a six, so he's fine. No reeling on that guy. Start of turn two, and Vidar is now going to roll. Take the goal, edge. And he has the skinny die, and I have the fat die. For obvious reasons. Mm, seven. On what? On the skin there. Okay, so who is going to go first? So you have decided 
I'll go first. Okay. I want to have a piece of the action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but of course, uh, if the uh, Sons of Radiance dies, all of them, that is a minor victory for the Resistance, but still, we have to battle it out with the Terminators to see who can claim ultimate victory. But you now roll a 1. Yes. So you can move up one guy. Uh, and I'll walk... Let's see. Walk on this guy. Walk this way. We Show up here. Mm -hmm. And I'll shoot at... And that's short. Yes, short range. So you'll hit on 5 plus with 2 shots. D8. Interesting. Uh, what's that? 5 plus? 5 plus, 2 D8. A 1 and a 2. How oh, is it possible? <laughs> you always do that. Okay, so the turn switches over to me. I will roll Fate. That's a one. That's one guy. So one guy is going to move. And he's going to move. It's kind of good I didn't hit. Actually, uh, for you, it's very good because the longer these guys stay in the fight, the more damage they can put on me. And that will. Because the Terminators and the Resistance have the same amount of points. Meaning that if the Sons of Radiation can kill one of my guys, I'm actually the underdog. But I like to be the underdog. So I'm just going to move up to the barrier. Uh, actually, I'm going to move so that I have the option of moving further if I want to. Uh, so he is activated. And now he's going to shoot with his uh, plasma rifle. This is short range, definitely. Uh, who should I take? I do want to have... Now all of them are closer to me anyway. But if I take out that, it's better to go for him. Oh, that's the yes. closest one. Yeah, and you're going to go for these guys anyway with your mindless... Um, and my, maybe they will see the Terminators coming from behind and try to attack me instead. Possibly. Um, so, I have a skill of six. I have two shots. So, needing fives. And the beep you hear is the camera you see in the corner of the video. That's filming the rolls. But you understood that, of course. Rolling a 1 and a 3, so that's miss. Okay, so over to the uh, Sons of Radiation. That is yeah. controlled by Vidar, since they are closer to me than to him. And that's a good thing for me. And they are feeling the heat. 1. Okay, so you can activate one guy. Uh, I think I'll activate this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll, I think I can uh, walk in... Inside here, it's uh, yeah, that's short range, so no problem. Let's see. And then you will also benefit from cover, but you cannot run since it, it's, it's classified as difficult to terrain. Yes, but and that means you are at short range to watch my guy, definitely. Yep, uh, then you can uh, roll uh, 2d6 hitting on 4 plus. Maybe you will actually hit something this time with that. <laughs> Let's hope so. Two fives. Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, it's about time. It's about time. The power of the uh, submachine gun is six, so two to six. And the armor is four, so you need four or more. No, actually, cover save. Yes. Two yeah. cover saves on four plus. Four plus. Yes. On D6. Yes. And two trees. Okay, so I don't uh, make my cover saves. Well, that means... You shouldn't let me roll the dice for you. <laughs> uh, now you can roll uh, 2 to 6 again and you need to beat my armor of 4 to kill me. Uh, 6 and a 5. Okay, so both of them is actually killing me. If you had now scored uh, 2 trees, for example, I would have, have taken a reeling test for each hit that went through my armor. Or that actually didn't went through my armor, that was stopped by my, my armor. Yes. So one resistance soldier killed and the Sons of Radiation have started to get a revenge feeling that they have been uh, backstabbed by the resistance. But of course they have not. 
So uh, you have the fate die Vidar over to the terminators. Yes, and uh, but I think the radiation, sons of radiation, sons of radiation, uh, the next turn, turn they will turn against the uh, terminators. I think they are closer to you now, but we yeah. will check that after. One. Okay, so you get one terminator. Yeah, and as mindless as they are, I will. Continue to walk towards the enemy. Towards the closest enemy. And I will shoot at this guy. And um, I think he has cover anyway. No? No, that's a clear shot. That's a clear shot. But it's. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's um, within short, so it does yeah. get cover. If it has been. If it didn't, he doesn't get cover since he, it is at short range. If it had been long range that he needed a 6 to hit, it would be an automatic cover because of the undulation of the terrain. We actually forgot that when I took out his uh, commander. Uh, he should have had a cover roll. Yeah, but uh, your assistant guy had a once in a lifetime shot, so... Uh, yeah, absolutely, two sixes in a row. Voodoo magic. Okay, so you are shooting two shots with a plasma gun. Uh, hitting on 5 plus, no cover save. 6 and 6. Oh, It's my time now to get the 6s. Okay, so that is actually 2 hits. Power of 8, killing on 3 plus. Uh, 3 and an 8. 3 and an 8, that means this guy He's is gone. gone. Yes, and then that's good for me. Now I only got one problem here for my Terminators. Well, it's good for me too, because I'm soon able to claim a minor victory. Mm. Okay, so the Terminators are shooting, and uh, the Sons of Radiation are shooting. And uh, it's my fate, my turn. Let's hope I get two, so I can eradicate that guy. That's two. So I get to activate two guys. And that is going to be these guys. Now I am doing something I shouldn't do, and that is to move closer to them. Because that means that guy is going to go for me instead of the Terminators. But still, remember, my main objective is to kill the uh, Sons of Radiation so that they cannot go back to their people and tell uh, their people that uh, they have been betrayed by the Resistance. Because then we cannot use them in further... Uh, operations uh, uh, and I have this guy here and he'll probably manage to kill the yeah, sons of probably help me kill him yep. uh, anyway I got uh, very short range at that guy I will use this guy first if I can't kill him with uh, him I will try with him so I'm flipping him over just to uh, remember that and he is going to shoot two shots with the d6 hitting on four because of very short range that is one five so it's a hit you have a cover since you are in a difficult terrain nice. or area of dense terrain on four plus rolling a two that means i have scored a hit i have a power of eight on my plasma rifle needing a three plus to kill you that's an eight so he's bye bye Okay, so successful shooting from resistance soldier number one, and here comes resistance soldier number two shooting at the guy behind the black uh, sports car, needing a five to hit because of short range. That is a six and a five, so it's two hits. He will, however, get cover. Four plus. No, both of them. Nothing. I hit the rubble or the car. So my guys have. Uh... Killed, shot and killed, and also missed. Now it's the uh, Sons of Radiation, or the Son of Radiation, because the last guy, he rolls a 2, so he can activate himself, but only once. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, you can stand still and shoot and upgrade your shooting value to a D8, needing 5s to hit, uh, because I think you are still going to benefit from cover uh, because of that barrel 
towards the terminators. So what are you going to do? Mm, uh, I think I'll stand still and shoot at you. Okay, so two shots with D8 upgrading. This is an advanced rule that we have decided to use to give them a fighting chance. So hitting on fives. A three and a six. Okay, so one hit. I have a cover roll on four plus with a D6. Six. Okay, so he saves. That means this uh, cycle is over and it goes back to the Terminators. Final Sun. Still alive, but now comes the Terminators. Rolling a one, so you can <laughs> activate your last that. guy. Yes. But the interesting thing is that I have four guys to activate after this. I'll move this guy over here. Okay. I'll, I will shoot at the last son. The last son of a gun. Son of and a that gun. That is going to be long range. Yeah. Yeah. So you got two shots hitting on six. Uh, three and a two. Okay, so nothing. Your terminators suck at shooting. No, this is this is good. Now you have to deal with him. So for a while. <laughs> okay, so I got four guys, and I am going to actually activate my. Well, it doesn't matter. I can move all of them. Um, since all of the other guys have moved. This guy is going to move, and remember in uh, Terminator you can move from this side to the other side and put the unit on either side of, it doesn't have to be straight in front, you can put him here if you so desire. So in this case I think I will have a line of sight, you will however get cover. It is going to be short range um, so that means I am going to fire two shots with the uh, skill of six. Needing a five to hit. That is one five. You have a cover on a four plus. No cover. Then I have a power of eight. Killing on three plus because of your armor. Well, that's a three. So he is gone. The last son. The last son of a gun. Okay, so that was successful. All the suns of radiation are gone. That means the resistance have managed a minor victory. Uh, of course, it's a bad thing to kill these mutants, but it's better to have the ability to work with them again instead of making new enemies. If you can understand the logic behind that. Uh, I'm going to run my other guys uh, because I want to get in a better position. I think actually I'm going to move them up here to stay in uh, cover. So he's going to move up here. And the other guy is going to move next to him. Actually they will all get roughly to the same point. He can just end up behind here. So now I have a nice cluster of people going to outflank your terminators. So start of turn 3 and we are going to perform a tactical edge roll. I have the fat one. I have the thin one. Uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, and I won. Okay. 7 minus 4. So you won tactical roll off and who is going first this time? Uh, I want to go first this time. Great. Ah, two guys. Two guys, you got lucky there, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so what's gonna happen? Uh, this Terminator will move, walk up here, and uh, I can see uh, these two guys and this guy over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one will take a sh shot at this guy. Okay. So you got two shots, that is long range, so hitting on sixes. No cover. Hey, sorry, cover. Lots of cover. Lots and of cover. Yeah, he gets cover since it's long range regardless if there isn't any intervening terrain. Yeah. Okay, so shooting two shots, hitting on six. Four and a one. So nothing. Nothing. Your terminators suck at shooting. Yeah, but wait until we get closer. Right. Okay, so he's done. Next guy. 
Oh, is this camera down? Hello. Walk this way. Walk this. Okay, let's not go there. <laughs> there. And shooting at what not? Or what now? Mm, I think I'll have a shot at. I have a few shots at the same guy. The it's, same guy? Yeah. And it's long range cover. Yep. Four and a two. <laughs> so you miss again. I miss again. There you can see the Terminator. So. Okay. That ends my turn. Okay, so fate shifts over to the resistance player, which is me. There are no more suns of radiation here, so now it will be back and forth with the resistance and terminators. So let's see how many I can activate. One. That's not what I wanted, but still, it's something. So he's going to perform a normal walk. And uh, we have deemed these things as a rough ground, so no running, but you can walk. Uh, and also we have decided that if a unit is inside rough ground, he cannot be assaulted. Uh, since the rules state that when you are in close combat range, you step forward, attack and then retreat. But that is hard to do in difficult terrain. So he is now uh, moving up uh, here. And I should now be within short range of this guy, which I am. That gives me two shots with d6 hitting on fives and you get no cover since you are mindless so two sixes hitting on five no a one and a two good for me terminator fate <laughs> fate fate ah, my fate die and the fate goes over to me um, now I have to make a decision here because if at some point I'll be able to make these guys real I need to have guys in the open that can run uh, and assault them and then I cannot stay inside cover because then I cannot run uh, but um, if I manage at least one fate here I will move him into cover also so I can try to at least get some reeling uh, results on these guys so let's see how many I can activate that's two okay so I roll two uh, I will activate this guy and I will also activate my commander which again will use his commander ability and activate his guy next to him. So three guys activated for me this turn. Uh, let's start with the, this guy over here. Like I said, he's going to move up, position himself in difficult ground and he's going to perform the same action as his comrade did. That is two shots. Hitting on fives because of short range. No, two and a three. Okay, so no luck with that uh, shooting again. Now I'm going to activate uh, this guy. And he's going to run up here. One of the reasons I do this is he can't see me and then he has no sense of where I am. So he will just continue moving forward. Being the... Terminator he is. He is, uh, my commander is going to move up here. Not all the way he can, but uh, having some cover here. So those are my two activations and making sure that he is within command range so that I can double activate next turn too. Terminator fate. One. One. Well, oh. that's suitable since it's the last guy. <laughs> yeah. Last guy. But um, now I think I actually moved a little bit too far. Yes. Uh, I got a line of sight, so your Terminator can see my. Can you hold the laser? Because I can't yeah. do. So. I can walk again towards him. Yeah, you can see my commander. I moved him too far. No! Yep. Okay, so you can move towards him, moving over the obstacle. So that's no running, so you cannot assault, but you can move and then shoot. That is what you're gonna do. Yep. Uh oh. 
a straight line. It's a Terminator mindless and yeah, within five. well within. Okay, okay, so now you got two shots hitting on fives. Seven and a one. Okay, so one hit. I do get cover since I'm in base contact uh, with that vehicle. Yep. Um, so um, roll a d6 on a 4 plus I have cover and you hit the car instead of me 5 okay so I got cover thank you being the sneaky bastard he is he decides to use his time travel agent to move back in time and uh, manipulate the armor or something so that uh, I will uh, fail my cover save that I made for his shooting but clever as I am I will send my time travel back so in we have time to battle it out you have upgraded yours to a yep. d12 I have a d8 so the highest roll wins ties are re-rolled are you ready yes four and a s seven no yes it worked okay so that means the uh, armor or the cover save must be re-rolled and both our agents have been spent D6 and it's 4 plus. Come on! 5. Yoo so you spent your time agent, I spent mine, but still my commander is alive. I had to try. Of course, that is what's uh, in the game. Terminator is about time travel. My commander is still alive, I got two units left to activate. All the Terminators have done their thing, so I will go uh, with all my guys. He's going to be activated and this guy is going to be activated. First activation is going to be a run action. So I'm going into flanking positions. He's going to run behind this building. And that is over here. Yeah, I can actually go all the way here. So he is now out of sight. And then my second uh, resistance fighter is going to move over here try to get some cover from from the car and stuff and then he's going to shoot at your uh, closest terminator that is of course going to be short range so i get two shots hitting on fives that is one five so i've got a hit now the power is eight uh, the good thing is that as long as I hit, I will force a reeling check no matter what happens. But if I score an 8, I actually kill him. Since my power is 8 and the armor is 8. So let's see the 8. No, that's a 3. So I do not penetrate your armor, but you have to take a reeling test on a d20. If you roll a... Uh, if you roll a 1 to 5, you are reeling and you get another done marker. So let's see what happens. That's a 16, so you are good. Turn 4, and we will do the tactical roll-off. The skinny guy and the fat guy. Let's see, it's 1-1. One, one. Okay, re-roll. 4 and 3, you uh, have the advantage. I have the advantage. I go first. Woohoo, let's kill some Terminators. No. Now it's a very important fate roll. If I get two, I can probably manage to take out one Terminator. So let's hope for two. Or fate. Or one. No. But it's good. Because I have my commander. So he is going to activate himself and one guy. Uh, so he's activating himself and this guy. And the <laughs> first thing that's going to happen is that my commander is going to shoot. He's going to stand still and shoot, and we know that we were at long range, or short range. Uh, that means I have two shots standing still. My skill is upgraded to a d8, and I will hit you on fives. Okay? Yep, ready. Hope you miss bad. No, I will hit because I want you to reel, and then I will run my other guy in and finish you off. That is one five, so I hit. That means you will be reeling. If I roll a 8, you are dead. 
That's a seven, so very close. Now you have to take a uh, reeling check, and now I hope to roll a one to five because then you are going down. Eleven. Ah! That's good. Okay, second activation then is not going to be a close assault, or I could do a close assault. Let's uh, pause and check that a little bit. So we did it wrong with my commander since uh, <clears throat> the upgrading is only allowed if it's a rate of fire one shot. That means the plasma rifles at long range. At short range, which I was shooting at, I will not be able to uh, upgrade to a uh, aim shot. Um, uh, so my, my second guy is going to be firing two shots, standing still, but no upgrading. But I will, however, hit on four, since we checked and he is within uh, close range. So two shots with a d6 hitting on four. That's one hit. I have a power of eight, needing an eight to kill. Well, that's a two, so you need to take a reeling test on a one to five. You reel on a d20. That's a 19. Oh my god, you need to roll those yourself. Oh, you are doing a very good work. Yeah, I am, Go I am. So, uh, over to the Terminators again. And uh, let's see what you can get from fate. I need at least one. I want to activate the guy close to Let's you. Let's get so a fate, uh, fate, fate. No, two. two. No. That's good. You said okay. you were going to activate this guy? Yes, and uh, I think I'll, I'll move, move him closer to you and do a close assault. No, no close combat. I don't like that. I like close combat. But the plan was for me to take out you, not for you to take out me. Yeah. Maybe uh, you should have... Uh, uh, <laughs> you should have uh, used one of your uh, time travels. Yeah, but I used it to stop your mm -hmm. guy. So, moving up to close combat range. And you're now allowed to do a close combat attack. Yes. And he is not allowed to do a ranged attack now since he is within close combat range. So, he now has uh, the skill of uh, D8. And needing a 3 plus to hit. 8. Oops, so that's a hit. Now we have a Terminator Claws, which have a power of 10 against my armor of 4. That's the purple one. 4. No, you beat my armor. Okay, did I kill you? Yes, you did, with your claws. I like the claws to the Terminators. The claw. The claw. Second ah. activation. Uh, I'll activate this guy. Uh, I was <laughs> considering walking up and take a few shots at your guy over here, but instead I think I'll do a double walk or a run. A moonwalk? A moonwalk over here. Since you had some luck with that yes, lately. And, and use the claw. The claw. The claw. Um, so over here. Okay, so now it's the same procedure as last time. Yes. Needing uh, or rolling a d8, needing a 3 plus for close combat. One. <laughs> Your okay, Terminator is. Not, so, not so lucky this time. You need to go back and you have to close. No, you have to train with your claws. Yeah, next time. Next time, I will roll the fate die and see how many of my remaining four guys I can activate. One. Okay. Uh, so let's see, that guy is in close combat range, which means he cannot shoot. He cannot shoot at that guy, as long as it, he is within close combat range. He has to... Um, he has to uh, do close combat. So I will not activate him. So I finally decided to use this guy, since he is in a position where he cannot do anything right now. Or he can close combat, but that's not so smart. So I will move him outside of 3 inches of that guy, like that. And then I'm going to shoot at this guy, since he hasn't done anything yet. And if I'm lucky, I can force a, um, a reeling on him. So, 5 plus to hit uh, on 2d6. Mm. 
No, nothing. Never throw a throwing like me. Definitely. Manager, fate. Roll of fate. Come on, fate, fate, fate. Want no. Roll that I need. So that is your last uh, Terminator, last guy, and uh, I'll have him walk up here and take a few shots at this guy. Okay. Uh, because if I move in too close, uh, I'll be an easy prey for these guys. Yes. Okay. So where do you want to go? I'm um, just walking forward. And then taking shots at him. Yes. Uh, are you in cover or? No, no, not there. That's a clear shot. Yeah. Sadly. And you are within short. I'll just double check that. That is uh, just uh, within short, yes. So uh, <clears throat> go ahead and roll 2d8. Hitting on 4. 8 and 4. Oh no, 2 hits. Power of 8, armor value 4. Come on, man. 4 and 4. You killed him! Woohoo! Okay, so I got 3 guys left. None of the Terminators uh, are left to activate. So I will start with these two guys. Uh, first guy is going to put shots into that Terminator. It is uh, above uh, 4 plus range, so I'm at 5 plus range. Um, that means I have rate of fire 2, so I cannot upgrade my die. So I will be rolling 2d6, hitting on 5 plus. Double sixes! The wood Double sixes! Me. Yeah, the wood is with me. Now I will roll 2d8 for the power. If I roll an 8, I'll we're have to, dead. We have to see this live. A 1 and a 6, so nothing. But you have to take two reeling tests since I hit you two times. Now you're going to roll it yourself. Oh, no, you're doing a good no, roll for me now. You are rolling ones and twos and stuff. Yes, okay. So one first. Six. Ah, oh, you just made it? <laughs> okay, give me a five now. Come on, five. Twenty. Oh, no! god damn it. Woo. Okay, so we go again, shooting at the guy that is uh, closest to the road crossing there. Two to six, hitting on five plus. No, nothing. Good for me. Okay, so final guy. I'm not doing much good over here. He's going to move up here. I think that is a sound tactic to be able to avoid being assaulted. Actually, that is what I should have done with my commander. He should have been moved up here. Now I will shoot two shots, hitting you on 4 plus with two d6s. Are you ready? I'm ready. That's a 5, so one hit. Power of 8, killing on 8. Four, you have to take a reeling test. Do you, you want me to it, take it or? You will roll it yourself. One. Fifteen. No! Start of turn five. And the d4 is to signify that after this turn we will roll a d4. And if you score a four, the game ends. But for now, Wheeler is going to roll tactical roll off. And I don't want the game to end now because I can achieve total. Victory. You are in a position to win a lot. The skinny and the fat die. Ah, you're first. I'm first. That is very true. I am first. So let's roll the fate. I can just do it straight away. That's a one. And I will okay, give that's... you the camera and I can plan my move. And of course I screwed up when I moved my guy because he is not within command range. If I'd only have moved him over here, okay. I could have activated two guys instead. But for now, I will actually do something I should have done last turn, and that is to move my commander up here, so that he is inside difficult terrain, and he is not um, able to be assaulted by the Terminator. Ah, uh, a close combat with his claws. With his claws, but you can shoot at me, and of course uh, you have uh, good odds of killing me then, but at least I get cover saves, and uh, it's better to face some plasma uh, Plasma rounds. Rounds. Instead of the claw. <laughs> uh, so anyway, two shots. D6s hitting on four. Now I need some luck. That is two hits. Two hits. Yes, sir. Okay. That means you have to take two reeling tests. If I score an eight, you are dead. It's an eight! I kill a Terminator! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> 
So the first Terminator of the game is killed, and uh, bastard. <laughs> Peter is now going to roll his fate. Roll fate, please. One. Okay, so you can activate one of your two remaining Terminators. We actually saw that we have 90 points each now. Okay. So it's very, very uh, equal. I walk up here. I can't walk uh, to do close combat. Uh, no, since, since you're in uh, difficult terrain. Difficult terrain, yes. But you can shoot two shots hitting on four plus. I will get cover saves, but if you hit, I am most likely dead. Uh, ready? I'm ready. Four plus. Four and a two. Okay, so one hit. Cover save on a four plus. Five. Of yes, course. sir. I'm Woo! gonna throw the dice for you. I, I does it very well. Fantastic. No. Continue with that. No. So shooting and uh, cover save saves me. So use the terrain, use the terrain people, important. And of course this is a homemade rule we made to uh, allow them to well, survive because close combat from Terminators are insanely powerful. They are deadly. Absolutely. Um, but when that is said, I moved up so that the sons of radiation could shoot at me a lot. So you had one of them kill my guys. That put me at a disadvantage. Yes. Uh, so fate for me is one. That is going to be well. What should I do? Should I try to? I will hit him on a four, and maybe put him out of the game, because next turn he won't be able to move. I will do that. I will shoot with that guy. Two shots. D sixes hitting on four plus. And remember to turn on the camera. Oh well, it will have been recording all the time. <laughs> okay, two shots hitting on four plus. That is two fours. So what are you? Is... What are you doing compared to me? I, I only have the voodoo magic. Yeah, of course. I have uh, to borrow your T-shirt next time. Uh, so <laughs> two D eight. That's the power of my plasma rifle. Killing on eight. That's an 8! I kill another Terminator! Of course! <laughs> awesome shooting again. Leaves a smoldering... Oh, dude, but you know what we forgot? No. I'll be back. Oh. Yeah. But you can roll uh, roll uh, 1d6 and only 5 and 6. You come back with the first guy. That was killed by my commander. You forgot it. There yeah, we yeah. forgot Okay. okay. I... Oh, okay, so he comes back as a crawler, and then yeah. the guy I killed now. <laughs> He's back as well. Oh, wow. oh, two sixers. So, uh, having to take a resolution test. First, the commander kill. And what is that, Vidar? Seven. No! Okay. That, that was good. And of the course. other guy? Sixteen. 16. So, both of them are good, and none of them are reeling. Yes. Uh, this guy has and already done something, so he can't do anything, but no. the guy that was killed by the commander is able to uh, crawl and do something. I was going to say that I had got a bad shipment of Terminators, Terminators but now it's looking a little bit better. That's but good. Not, not much they can do though. Oh, close combat then. The claw. The claw. Yeah. But you have to crawl into the area, and I'm not sure we have to see how we will tackle that, since uh, they are close combating, it's their, it's their only kind of weapon now. Hmm. So, fate for the Terminators, which are back to three guys. Okay, one. Okay, so you got the crawler over here, and you got this guy that hasn't done anything yet. I used the one who's still, still got intact. Legs. <laughs> okay, about close combat, we decided that if he can reach my guys, uh, that means it's not enough for him to be three inches away. Uh, he has to be uh, almost in base contact me, with me when he uh, is crawling towards me. Because it's uh, not realistic that he shall be able to be three inches away and then crawl up to me, assault me and then crawl back. It doesn't make any sense. So he will have to crawl uh, and almost touch my unit to be able to attack. But now you have moved that guy over here. Yes. Uh, and he is allowed to shoot over his friend since he is size zero. I'll have uh, two shots off at this guy. Okay. 
that hasn't done anything. Yeah, that's a clever move. Uh, so that is short range, 2d8 hitting on fours. Five, one five. Okay, so one hit, cover save, four plus. Five, of course. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm doing your work. Again. Yes, I think you will have to throw the dice yourself next time. <laughs> okay, so I'm left with my uh, fate die again. And that's... Fate, no! My okay. turn. So it goes over to you. Fate for the Terminator. Two. So you can activate your last guy over here. Yes, I like it with my crawler. And he is allowed to now crawl up. Remember the template is, uh, is the unit is moving from the back to the front. So he is now in base contact and he can now assault and you're going for what unit? Uh, I'll take the one that hasn't, hasn't done, done anything. anything. Yeah, because he's gonna shoot you. Yeah. Okay, and no, it's a D6. Hit on three. On yes. Four. Yes. Woo! Of course. <laughs> what a tool for you. I threw very good, but no, then this is rubbish. Yes, you roll like rubbish. Uh, but now let's uh, move him back. Or was that what I said? What? To, what that? Was what? What did I? What did I say? When he is within. It would be strange if he crawls back now, or yeah. And, and, and anyway, if if he crawls back uh, and if still... he survives, I want to attack you the next time as well. Yeah, of course. And he can do that since no. But the point is that yeah, but you can still do that because you are within yeah the, crawling the, range. Yeah, the point was that the point was that um, if you were say over here. Yep. And normally you could move with your walk template over here and then end up uh, three inches away, you could assault. Uh -huh. But we do not allow crawlers to do that. They actually have to start their move within three inches to yes. be able to assault. So in that case you can just move him three inches back. Uh, remember, I cannot shoot at him since he is within close combat range. I have so to move you have my to, guys. Uh, yeah, you have to use your close combat. Or move them away. Yep. And I really don't want to close combat him before I have made him real. So I got two guys left. This guy is going to move and he's going to move more than three inches away. Uh, remove the flames, they extinguished. They extinguished the flames. So he's moving back there and he's then going to take uh, two shots, hitting on fours because of uh, close range. 2d6, hitting on fours. That's two sixes. Are you kidding me? I'm rolling like a god. Voodoo magic is all over the place. And my power is 8. And I'll have uh, to see this. You still have an armor of 8, so... You have to you kill me at 8. No, I didn't. But you no. have to take two resolution tests. Your resolution is still 20 since you have... Uh, well, you don't lose any resolution when you get a, become a crawler. Seven. Seven, again, okay, again. Eleven. Eleven. So you make it. Ah! To fight another day. Crawl another day. Yeah, or crawl another day. <laughs> so, in this uh, situation here, I'm actually gonna use my last guy to shoot at the crawler, since he can actually assault me. But the walking Terminator cannot assault me because of difficult terrain. And as we have seen, the claw is more dangerous it's than the plasma dangerous. gun. So I got uh, two shots hitting on four plus with two d6. And that shouldn't be a problem for you. <laughs> or should it? Let's see what happens. Yes. No, three and a two. Miss, miss. Hmm. That means we are going... No, we're going to check if there is... What I was going to say before he rudely cut me off is that we have to check if there is... A continued continued turn, turn number six. If I roll a four now, we end the game. I roll a three, so we continue. Next turn we roll a d6, and on the four plus the game ends. We'll start of turn six, and uh, tactical roll off. The skinny guy and the fat guy. And the skinny guy has to win this one. No, I have to win this tactical roll off. Three, three. Reroll. I want to win it. Come on. 
Well, of course you win it. Right? You, I go first. You're my friend. <laughs> I go first. So, how many activations? I want to have two. Of course, I put my commander more than three inches away again. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. Now I'm going to use my special ability. Special ability? Yeah, the commander can override fate. Yeah, okay. He can activate as uh, many units as his uh, thingy bob, command value, but it's only one, and he has to activate himself first. Because it's too far away from the other guy. No, he has to activate himself first, no matter what. Okay. Uh, if the other guy was within, he still couldn't have activated him, because no. when, you, when you override fate, you can only activate, or you have to activate the commander first. If I had a command value of two, I then could have activated the second guy if he was within uh, three inches. But for now, you will get the camera and uh, I will roll. Okay, so I'm gonna do something smart now and that is to move away. Actually, I am gonna move him down here so that I can activate these two guys at the same time. Because now, he is not within close combat range of me. Why are you moving away from me? Because oh. I don't like your claw. I want to hug you. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna fire two shots with his plasma rifle. Uh, two to six, hitting on... Force. That's a five, so one hit. Rolling a yellow d8 and scoring a kill on an eight plus. No, a five, but you have to take a reeling test. Do you want me to take it or can you take it for me? I can take it for you. This time um, I'll roll one. Twelve. No! Wow, that's good. Thank you. Terminator Fate. Let's get the party started with two. Or one. Or one. Which one is it going to be? Uh, it's the crawler. The crawler? Yes, because he can uh, move up. And take a close combat. Take a crawl? And I think I'll get... Yeah, but you are within, so that's no problem. If you put him in front, you will be touching my guys. Yes. So that is close combat, and then he moves back uh, after. I just let... Yes, just let it be there. Yeah. So... Um, you got a skill of six, one attack, hitting on a three plus. One. Six. No, that's a hit. Oh, shit. And it was uh, D10 for the claw. Uh, that one. The Terminator claw. So you need a four plus to penetrate my armor. Two. <sighs> but you hit me, so I have to take a reeling test. And I won't do it for you, because then you make it. Okay. So I will take the reeling test myself. Now we are double filming. 14. So I'm good. Okay. Lucky bastard. Yes. So fate moves over to me. I think uh, when the terminators becomes crawlers, they are more or less useless. No, if you just roll high enough. Yes, of course. <laughs> fate. <laughs> One. Shit. Uh, that guy. I want to try and take out your walking thingy bob. Thingy bob. So two shots. D sixes hitting on four plus. That's no nothing. Nothing. Ah, oh, good from me. Terminator fate. One. Okay, so one guy again. Crawler or shooter. I'll use the shooter. Didn't I use one guy here? Yes. Uh, I'll shoot at the guy that hasn't been. Of course, that's a tactical sound thing to do. Yeah. So, two shots, D8s hitting on fours. Three and two. So, miss, miss, uh, miss. I think this is a useless batch of Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> no, again! Fate. No, no, no! Okay, I'll just take my fate mm -hmm. die and fate. throw. Fate. Two. Two. So you can activate your last one. Oh, oh we have to put a red marker on him. Yeah. So now it's that guy. And he can crawl towards me. Yes, and I think that's the only thing I can do as well. Yep. Because I can't get close enough to use the claw on you. That's true, but if I don't move, you can do it next turn. Yes, and you have to close combat me now if you want to attack me. Or I can move. Or you can move. Ah, uh, or move away. I can move away. But do you want to move away? Okay, so uh, two guys left. This guy and the guy in the crater over here. 
uh, but I'm going to start with the guy down here and he's going to move away again so that he cannot be assaulted and then my commander no actually you know what I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna close combat here no because that will probably hit you and it will force a resolution check six so it's a hit I can't do any damage to you since the uh, combat knife only has a d6 uh, damage value and you have armor of eight so you will now have to roll the blue die yourself of course roll a one I would probably do that come on 60 no, so he's good